huge cheer from the crowd as the Royal Landor turns left and goes towards the winner's enclosure. And um, I think you have the more details, Louise, now about that royal outfit. Yes, news just in. Her Majesty the Queen is wearing a beautiful Anna Valentine dress with a black trim, which we'll see no doubt when she steps out of the carriage, and a white hat with black feathers by Sir Philip Tracy. I think she's one of many Philip Tracy creations all week. There's Dame Judy, so popular. Of course, in May to December as well, a more current... Uh, um, and also, of course, she won a Broadway, her first appearance in Twelfth Night. She's probably acted in, in just about everything. And now those who've waited a long time will get their view as the Windsor Greys turn under those arches where the winner's boards are hung. And the expectation, and almost over now for these tens of thousands of people packed around this winner's enclosure. And they will turn right to give everybody a, a better view as Sir Francis Brook and members of the Ascot Authority, Sir Francis is chairman, and also His Majesty's representative so he is uh, the, about to meet his predecessor, but one. But listen to the cheers, and huge cheers too, for some reason, for Landor number two. Yes, I'm not surprised about that, are you? I think it's so wonderful to see the younger generation here too, um, not just from a fashion standpoint, but of course, of course, that's what I'm interested in. It's interesting seeing um, some of the younger people in the crowd wearing, uh, the ladies wearing suits, I think, um, fascinating to see such an array of different styles and the time and effort that people put into their looks. Just look at the number deep trying to get a view as this procession makes its way round their majesties. Well, they've had a lot of other things to do this week as well. King Charles attended a service at St George's Windsor yesterday morning for the Windrush generation and he was in London after racing on Tuesday so he's had a busy week and it's just terrific to welcome him to day four of Royal Ascot. Sir Francis waits to make the formal welcome. <laughs> King Charles in his early days was a an amateur rider did have experience of the Cheltenham Festival. I wonder how he'd compare riding at the Cheltenham Festival to this. Let's just say very different. He really does have a big smile. That yesterday was a very, very special moment. And the Princess of Wales with uh, Princess Beatrice. Have another look at that red outfit. She is absolutely wonderful when she wears monochrome. And I think that bright pop of persimmon, that lovely orange red, is divine. Lovely to see that she's got the matching shoes on too. And Princess Beatrice looking absolutely wonderful. I'm not privy to who has made their lovely outfits. I'm sure we'll find out very soon. But I love the floral lace detail that she's wearing. Looks beautiful with her hat.